Well, welcome to week number four for Claire Saltz, who is one of the slimmers on our six week course, where they're going to lose at least a stone in our six weeks. My name is Jodie Bunting. Hi, Claire. Hi, hi. Hi to one of our many Claire's on this course. It gets so confusing. <laughs> um, it must do. It must do. This is the Claire that's lost the most. That's the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Claire, how's your week been? Uh, not too bad. I've lost two pounds this week. Fantastic. Um, well, I have had, a, I have had a, a couple of sort of small treat days this week just because I've met some friends a couple of times this week that I don't normally see. So I uh, might have had a tiny bit of alcohol, but not too much. <laughs> but that's even <laughs> better. You know, when my slimmers lose weight and they've had some real life treats, it is the ultimate sign that they are getting it. You know, they've got that perfect balance between getting success and actually enjoying a few treats. So it's well, yeah, because I think long, long term, you're never going to not have anything bad ever again. It's just perhaps learning to, like I, I was aware of it and I had I had two pints of cider, whereas normally I might have had uh, quite a bit more than that. So, you know, that was quite restrained. And that's all I've had in about four weeks. I've had no other alcohol. So I've kind of pretty much given it up. It was just that I saw some friends I hadn't seen for a while. So Yeah. Fantastic. Right. So let's have a little look at your food diary. So boiled eggs this morning with bacon. Yeah. Um, you've been Toby Carvery again. I have. I now have. I have to do a little confession with you now. Okay. <laughs> and I haven't told anyone else this yet. But last Wednesday, I did go into my local Toby Carvery. All right. And guess what was on the menu? Dumplings. Yes. I just, I was so excited. Did you have any? Did you have any? Of course I did. I had to. <laughs> I was so excited because I was like, my friend Claire, her slimmer, told me all about these new dumplings. And you know what? They they look like roast potatoes floating in gravy when I first saw yeah, them. Yeah, they, they do. And I checked with the chef like what they were. And he did say, yeah, the dumplings. Yeah. And yeah. you know what? It tasted so good on a Sunday dinner. Yeah. Yeah, they are nice, but you have to just try and avoid them because they, they've got a horrendous amount of calories in them. Because obviously me, the older two work up there. So my son was saying to me, he says, Mom, you don't want to know how many calories they've got in them. So I didn't have one today. So if anybody doesn't know what a dumpling is, it's basically suet fat, isn't it? It is, yeah. Mixed yeah. with bread, basically. It's like a very fatty bread. Um, yeah. But I must say, I don't know whether my mum just makes really fatty, heavy ones, but I actually thought the Toby Carvery ones were quite light. Yeah, they weren't bad, actually. The ones my mum used to make, yeah, I mean, my mum's been dead many years, but I always remember she used to do these stew and dumplings, and they were quite sort of heavy and, and stodgy, weren't they? Yeah, but the, yeah, the Toby ones are quite light. And the other thing about them, they are quite small. You know, if you just had one... I don't think it'd be that much more than 100 calories, I would guess. Yeah. And obviously, if you're not putting any potato on or any, any of the other stuff, then yeah. it's not so bad. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, sorry about that. I just had to tell you about my <laughs> experience when I saw the word Toby Carvery in your food diary. Um, yeah. Your snacks, banana and apple. Yeah. Uh, so that was yesterday. Uh, Sunday... Uh, eggs and bacon again for breakfast, uh, lunch, <laughs> two kind pints of Guinness. That's all I had. No, it doesn't. <laughs> With the Toby Carvery. Toby Carvery. You've been going every day. You know, we, we, we normally go once a week. Uh, it's just that, like I say, I've seen some friends this week that they've moved away, so I very rarely see them now. So we're just sort of catching up a bit, really. What meat do you have in Toby, by the way? Normally I have the pork. What about on a Sunday, food. though, when they have lamb? Do you have that? Um, to be honest, no. I think just because pork's my favourite, I nearly always have that, to be honest. Um, on Sunday night, you also had porridge, which is good. Yeah. I was hungry and I thought, what can I have that's not too bad <laughs> after everything else I've had? So I had a bit of porridge. Uh, Saturday, uh, muesli in the morning. 
ham sandwich for lunch with an apple, uh, poached egg, gammon steak, and baked beans in the evening. Friday, um, toast with a banana. Uh, Toby Carvery on Friday evening. Just to clarify, this is your third Carvery in four days. It is, it is. but I don't normally do that. <laughs> Again, the reason I'm pointing it that out is not to, to make fun of you. I'm making a point that, that you've lost two points and you've eaten yeah. out quite a lot. And I well, think what I've been doing is what, what you said about, I don't have the Yorkshire pudding. Uh, yeah. I don't have any potatoes at all. No, no roast potatoes, no mashed potatoes. I only had the dumplings. I only had one dumpling on one of the times that I went. Yeah. Yeah. Um, didn't have the stuffing so it was literally just meat and veg and then just a little drizzle of gravy so i suppose if if you're careful it proves you can still go out really absolutely because i get a lot of excuses of that oh sorry i haven't lost weight this week i've had to go, go out for this that and that but you are proving that you can go out and still have a little treat the other thing well we, we are basically sales men and women for toby calvary right now because the other thing <laughs> i wanted to talk to you about <laughs> was the freestyle machines, the, the drinks dispenser machines. They're quite cool as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. What flavour do you have? I normally, I never, this is what I was going to ask you, actually, because I never know when I do go out what's okay to drink. So quite often when I go now, I just like, I ask for a pot of tea and just have like tea with no sugar in because I'm yeah. terrified of drinking anything because I'm not sure, I've got no idea when it comes to drinks and calories whatsoever. Obviously, we all know that alcohol's got a high sugar content, but other than that, I've got, I haven't got a clue. I don't know whether, you know, you should sort of stay away from anything that's fizzy. You know, is fizzy water okay? I'm completely lost when it comes to drinks. Right. So the best of the best is obviously water. I hate to say it, but, you know, if you can, water is always the best. Uh, some people say there is some disadvantages of sparkling water, but I love sparkling water and I don't think at all over my years that it's ever slowed me down from losing weight. So if you like sparkling water, go for sparkling water. Uh, and for those of you that like a lot of sparkling water, you can buy one of those unlimited drink refills. Yeah. And on all the machines that serve um, like the Coke and stuff, where you help yourself there's a little white button at the side of the dispenser and if you press that just the fizzy water comes out all right okay there's my top tip everyone there you go um, <laughs> so yeah if you want quite a lot of fizzy water do that obviously if you if you're not having a lot then just order a bottle of sparkling water or soda water or something like that yeah um, i just never know never quite know where to go with drinks because if I'm at home I've either got my great big bottle of water that I kind of fill up twice a day and work through that or I'll make a coffee try and mostly have that black if I do have a cough just have a black coffee uh, so when I go out I'm just always lost with drinks I never know what I should and shouldn't have the next level after water you're right going for something like tea is good because obviously there's loads of water in there there's only a little bit of caffeine in tea and obviously only a few calories actually in the milk the next one is things like Diet Coke. Um, the biggest issue with Diet Coke and those sorts of drinks, the diet ones, is the fact that they have got artificial sweeteners in. So if you've got fibromyalgia or any sort of uh, hormone issue, any sort of mental health issue, these artificial sweeteners will or can cause you issues. So you are better away staying away from them. Uh, some people even suggest having one glass of regular Coke is much better for you than having loads of glasses of Diet Coke. Because again, right. at least with regular Coke, it's just got sugar in. That is the only bad thing in it. Whereas Diet Coke has got lots of weird chemicals that can really set people off in different ways. Um, yeah. However, I would say if you really feel like something sweet and it's just, for instance, a once in a month treat, have a Diet Coke, no problem. OK, so just putting it in proportion, that's all I would say. Yeah, um, yeah. And then let's talk about alcohol quickly. Uh, clear spirits are basically the best way to go of all alcohol. Yeah. So things like gin and tonics, uh, vodka and whatever you want to mix it with. So those clear spirits are only 50 calories per shot, pub measure shot. Oh, wow. that is. If, you're, if your family member... <laughs> 
if your family members are pouring out the shots, then it might be slightly different sizes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, 50 calories per sh pub measure shot. Uh, next up on the hierarchy of alcohol is wines. So if you like a wine, that's uh, that's next up. Obviously, a dry white wine will have less calories. Uh, and then on the bad side of alcohol, uh, things like beers, uh, Guinness, sadly, are quite high in calories. And I went with the Guinness instead of the spirits because I was in my head. I was thinking maybe the higher the proof it was, the more sugar it had for some reason. I don't know where I've had that from, but no, unfortunately not. Uh, basically, okay. the darker the alcohol, the harder your body is to to get it out of your body. All right. Okay. So things like beer, uh, especially the darker beers, they do stay in your body for quite a long time uh, and they're okay. quite high in calories as well. So those are probably um, those are quite bad to have. The worst of the worst, however, is the fruity ciders because those obviously got loads more sugars in as well. Uh, yeah, and the other really bad that. thing is cocktails as well, because obviously they've got loads of sugars and stuff. So that yeah. is like the hierarchy of uh, alcohol. Yeah, I've got a bit of a reputation when it comes to shots, because my shots are like half a pint. <laughs> whenever, <laughs> I pour, whenever I pour anyone a vodka or a gin, they can never drink it. They're always like needing more Coke and things. So, but I've stopped doing that now, so that's okay. <laughs> what, to, what do you like to shot? I'd, it normally be gin probably is is my main main thing that I like. Okay, but not neat shots. No, no, not very often. <laughs> not anymore. It's funny actually because I've not drank for about it's probably about five weeks that I've had. I mean, I don't drink a lot. Maybe drink once a week, but I've not yeah. drunk for about five weeks. And I had those two pints and I actually felt a bit ill. If I'm Did honest, you? I felt a bit off. Yeah. <laughs> Did the kids have to call you if, home, Claire? I just wonder if it's because your body kind of gets used to not having stuff, you know what I mean? Absolutely. I actually got home and thought, you know what, I really wish I had that. I didn't really yeah. didn't enjoy it as much, you know. It's a bit like, for instance, alcoholics. Some alcoholics can drink a whole litre of vodka and it doesn't affect them because their body is just so used to it and so used to dealing with all those toxins yeah. where, like you said, if your body's not been used to it and suddenly it has loads of these toxins, all this alcohol, uh, this is why you felt like you did that night. Yeah. Um, right, back to your food diary or else we're going to be here all night, Claire. I just love speaking <laughs> to you. I could speak to you for hours. Uh, Friday, you had uh, Cheerios... Uh, that was your little snack after the carvery on Friday. Thursday, toast for breakfast, uh, chicken mushrooms and egg for lunch. Rivita with pate, pate for dinner. Uh, a mini snack size Mars bar. Again, all these meals, all these treats, you're staying within your calories. Uh, Wednesday, porridge for breakfast, crackers for lunch with pate chicken fillets with rice and broccoli in the evening uh, and then your snacks were an apple and some carrot sticks and then finally last Tuesday you had yogurt for breakfast uh, with coffee and a banana for lunch was bacon tomatoes and eggs in the evening scrambled eggs with a pork loin steak that's your week. That's my week. So, yes, fantastic. I'm really pleased with that. What do you think to the Toby Calvary breakfast? Uh, to be honest, we used to go for breakfast quite a lot, but the one that we, we where we are in Kids Grove, um, they've had a bit of staffing issues, so they're not actually doing breakfast during the week now. We don't tend to go with the weekends for breakfast. I haven't had breakfast for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I always think the breakfast is not as healthy as having the dinner. It's so I true. Food, you know, I, just... I know, but if you think about it, what, you know, the healthiest thing on the planet is loads of fresh vegetables. And unfortunately for the breakfast, the only thing there is mushrooms and tomatoes, which are quite healthy. But obviously with a, a roast dinner, you can get the full selection. 
also the quality of the meat um, on breakfast, obviously sausage and bacon is quite processed, even though it's high in protein, more fat, more processing. So you are exactly right. The carvery dinner is much more beneficial to our body. But I am taking my mum on Mother's Day this coming Sunday for a Toby Carvery breakfast. That's why yeah, I it's nice it. because it's nice. And it, you know, my favourite thing about doing a Toby Carvery breakfast, you can have on your breakfast Yorkshire puddings and gravy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'll be having Yorkshire puddings, gravy, and beans and sausages. That'll yeah. be my Mother's Day breakfast. That's the one thing that I've tried to stay away from a little bit is sausages, because obviously it's not really. I see that as sort of more processed than a, a piece of meat, obviously. But I, I do like sausages, so I struggle giving them up completely. But the, If you do want to, it's all about the ingredients, really. What I would say is to, you can go for chicken sausages if you like them. I don't particularly find them that nice. Um, but just try to go for a sausage that's got a high pork content. So a lot of, especially butchers now, do like 95% meat sausages. Yeah. Um, and that's obviously just pure meat, whereas as the other ones are full of rusk and additives and stuff. So yeah. that, that would be the uh, top tip there, is just to go for a quality one. Okay. Great. I'm really happy with that. Um, have you done anything exercise-wise different this week? Slept different? Um, Is the digestion okay? If I'm, on, if I'm honest, I probably haven't really. I have done a bit more walking, but nothing nothing more energetic than that, really. No, that's fine. I just tend to like go a little bit further with the dog or walk a bit quicker up to school, all that kind of thing. Perfect. Right, we're halfway through the course. Um so you've lost nine pounds. You've got five pounds left to go in three weeks. How many pounds would you like to lose next week? Um, two or three, maybe. Great. I'm maybe happy with two. An extra one, two or three. I'm happy with two. Absolutely. Great. I feel but... like this week I've um, sort of, I, can, I, I did have the little treats more than I would normally. Yeah. But then, you know, it hasn't been too, it's been like a, a normal week where I haven't felt like I had to try quite as hard this week and it's just fitted in nicely. And, you, and I feel like that's manageable, perhaps than trying to get six pound off a week, you know. And you pulled it in by having the smaller tea after you'd gone out for your dinner as well. So again, that was the perfect balance. Yeah, I always think if I have a car, then really I don't I only need a little bit of something for the other meal, really. Why are the kids taking you on Sunday for Mother's Day? They're both working. Everybody's working. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Can you not we just go in with... then? That's why not... we've been out the last couple of days as well. The kids have been with me because they're both, they're both on all day Sunday because apparently it's going to be manic. Yeah. Oh, so, Claire. Well, that's okay. We just sort of fit round, really. We just do things on other days, so it's fine. Do you think they'll buy you chocolates or anything like that? Well, they're not allowed. Well, this is, what I'm, this is why I'm saying what <laughs> they do. No, they'll buy me flowers, not chocolate. Okay, perfect. There's, there's a message to all kids out there. If your mum is trying to lose weight, buy her flowers, not chocolate. Flowers, so yeah, that's, that's our message for the world. Right. Thank you very much, Claire. Any other questions for me? No, I think that's it. Thank you. Wonderful. Right. Thank you so much. Well done. And I'll see you next Thanks. week. Thanks, Jodie. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye.